Naming angles. Remember that angles are formed when two rays share the same endpoint. We have two rays here in the figure, ray AB and ray AC. The angle is formed because ray AB and ray AC share the same point, where we can see the angle. We call the shared point A the vertex. We normally use the vertex name to refer to the angle, and we put this symbol to indicate an angle. This is called the short form of naming angles. Another way to name angles is by using three letters. So we can call our angle BAC or CAB. This is the long form. Note that in the long form of naming an angle, the vertex should be in the middle of the name. Both the long and the short forms can be used to name angles, as long as we only have two rays sharing the same endpoint. But for example, when we have three rays sharing the same endpoint A, we will have more than one angle and they all share the same vertex A. In this case, we can only use the long form to name the angles to be able to distinguish them. Assume that we want to draw an angle named DEF. How can we do that? Well, we know that E is the vertex, so we can start with point E and draw two rays sharing E as an endpoint. Here is ED and EF. Now we have our angle DEF. In this lesson, you learned how to draw and name angles.